Rahim Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn that how to correct the date format with the help of Power Query within five seconds. Uh, but before that, we will also learn that if you ever face this kind of data set with related to the dates where you have lot of different kind of date formats in just one column and if you are using Excel formulas and functions, so how it becomes very lengthy uh, to solve this kind of issue. Whereas in Power Query, we will just uh, do this kind of situation in less than five seconds. So before I start showing you the solution in the Power Query, I will start as an, a basic or intermediate Excel user. So let's say that we have one column of date and in this particular column we have a lot of dates right around 908 or 9 uh, records are there but date formats are not uh, standard not same okay so if you are an excel user you know that whenever we have a date in microsoft excel so for example today is uh, 5th of april 2022 so this slash formats uh, contains the month in the beginning then day in the middle and year at the last right so if you observe this particular column here you will not find this kind of uh, slash formats uh, you will find uh, a date format just like 09-28-19 which is again it's not a date and we will check that why is it so but before that uh, you also know that the date is on the back end is a number and we have one uh, function in excel which is called equals to is number which will check that if the cell contains a number or not if the cell contains a number it produces true if it does not a number it produces the false so if i uh, cross check or verify that my cell contains a date or not so this means that dates are on the back ends are number so it should return true and here it is right but if i check with this date format for example is number cell reference a3 bracket close it's returning false so particularly with our naked eyes we can see that okay this is a kind of a date format but it's not a readable uh, format for the excel to execute in further formulas or functions right so how to correct those uh, let's see that as well and one more thing is that whenever you type a date it should be on the right side right alignment of a cell that this means that uh, this is a date but whereas you can also find that some of the dates are here are on the right side but still it's not in a correct format so the first point is that if you find this kind of a data set uh, where you have one date column but it could be a scenario like that you have some five or six files of excel and you are just appending that data uh, into one file and uh, what you are trying to do is there are so many users who who are adding date formats in their own way of communication so once you consolidate the data or you compile the data and you have the date column so every user has set their own parameters and when you come consolidate the data you find a multiple different kind of date formats uh, which is not exactly the same and you want to standard that date format or uh, you want to correct that date format right so this is a, a troubleshoot for the excel user now i have created a solution in excel with respect to uh, using some helper columns and excel formulas and functions and it took around uh, uh, 30 minutes to do so so i have already created a video for that if you want to see this solution this is not a power query solution this is a traditional excel formulas and function solution which is also handy but it takes a lot of time so in this video my focus is to uh, give you a thought process that whatever you are doing in 20 minutes or 30 minutes in excel you can do the same thing in seconds with the help of power query within the excel as well 
right so if you want to see the entire solution that how i have made these incorrect date formats into a correct one so you can go to my channel on youtube that is excel basement where you will find a lot of useful videos uh, with respect to different uh, domains like bi word powerpoint excel and i have already recorded that video uh, which is name handle dates smartly in microsoft excel where i have shown four different kind of ways to correct the incorrect date issues so this video is all about uh, around 30 minutes videos where i have explained and Im implemented that solution so if you want to watch that you can watch that this video as well uh, that how to correct these things uh, if i can show you here in excel uh, what i first did is i have created a uh, or i have add a check column so for example here i i will do so now you can understood that these all dates are coming from multiple files where users have put their own kind of date formats and we want to just structure into one format right so i will use check column for that i will be adding is number so that i can check what what kind of a date uh, dates are exactly dates and what are not so we need to correct them so if the check column contains false this means that we need to do the correction okay so i have applied a filter and i will just filter the false ones so i can see that i need to correct these uh, incorrect date formats and also if you can see that there are another kind of a date format which is coming on the left side which is again the wrong thing and uh, I, we, we want to correct this as well although in this particular date you can see the month is coming at the beginning the day is the center and the year at the last but still it's a not correct format and it happens when we export the data from somewhere for any other kind of application and we import them into excel these things happens and even that if i pick the true ones so if i pick the true ones uh, there is another issue is that this these are the correct date formats these are readable by the excel but the issue is we want uh, the correct date format which depicts the uh, month at the beginning day in the center and year at the last whereas although these are the correct dates but these are depicting the uh, days in the beginning month in the center and year in the last so how we gonna modify this we can do this with the help of custom formatting so if you are a beginner user you might know that how to correct these kind of things with the help of custom formatting right but still the correction is required the efforts are required even in the true case so there are some false cases there are some true cases uh, with respect to the false cases what i have done is if you can see the scenario number one here where we have the incorrect dates right so once we have identified that these are not the correct dates so i have used uh, as i told you that excel formulas and functions so here uh, this kind of a date formats where you find a month hyphen day hyphen and year and you want to convert that into a slash formats with respect to month at the beginning beginning day in the center and year at the last so i have used the uh, date function uh, then added a value then left right and mid combination and i have corrected this date format right another kind of a uh, false uh, date format if i can filter the false here so you can see here we have another kind of incorrect date format right and we have corrected this kind of a date format uh, with the help of a date value function right but still it's not exactly corrected because again uh, <clears throat> we need to identify that if any other thing is still left uh, or we want to make it in into a standard format okay so if we pick the true ones from here so now you can see that although these are considered and readable as the dates on the back end because is number is generating true uh, but the point was is that that these dates are not in our desired format we want month at the beginning day in the center and here in the last so we have used the custom date setting as well before the final correction right so there are a lot of efforts has been made uh, in this particular file and definitely uh, the first a column contains a different kinds to just execute this and the problem is that whenever the user uh, find this kind of issue for for example for the first month so it is expected that the next month this same kind of issue will 
come and uh, the user needs to regularly correct these uh, kind of things in in his uh, routine office work so this can be a very time consuming task and uh, hassle and pain points for the excel user now what the standard easiest way to do it is just to use the power query uh, still uh, power query is a very strong tool uh, based on uh, a concept of etl basically extract transform and load and whatever we do in the power query just gets automated for the next time if the data gets append we just need to press refresh so um, i am not doing these uh, traditional methods of correcting the incorrect date formats into a correct one but i hope that you have understood the logic that how much efforts a user has to put and how much time he has to put and the conceptually he has to be very strong in the formulas and functions for doing all these things so if you are still interested in this kind of a solution you can as i told you you can go to my youtube channel and watch this video uh, which is around 30 minutes of task but what i prefer is to use the power query which is a matter of seconds and now we are going towards that so what i will do is i will just first select the entire column which contains the different kind of date format some are true true some are false i mean some are incorrect some are correct but not with the standard format so what i going to do is i will just select the entire date column and convert this normal range into a table format so for doing that i will go to insert tab and i will click the insert tab and i will click on table and i will check mark that my table has headers and i will press the okay right and i can also change the table name as well if i want to or you can go with the default now once you have transform your date column into a table format uh, now it's time to go in the power query and do what just one step within seconds and your problem will get solved and then we will verify that as well so i will go to the data tab here in the get and transform group we have a button called from table or range so i will click on that and it will open a power query editor window for us so now here we have you can see here we have a date column which has some incorrect dates and correct dates as well right you can see here so we need to correct that so i i have just selected this column and you can see here if you have ever used power query or even not so no worries uh, on each of the column left side you will find that uh, the column uh, data type icon small icon when you click on that you will find a contextual menu open for you we want to make or convert this entire column into a date format so i will just click on date and that's it it has corrected all the incorrect dates appropriately and the format which is being used here in the slash format by the power query is month in the beginning day in the center and year at the last just a matter of seconds once you have done this simple close and load and it will open a new sheet for you where we have all the dates corrected so imagine that whatever we were doing in traditionally with the helper columns and formulas and functions uh, power query is able to do within 5 seconds or even less than 5 seconds now we we will also check this as well so you can uh, convert this format as well there is a shortcut key control shift 3 which uh, shows the different format for each of the date like 28th of september 2019 and this goes on so all the dates has been corrected pretty much and let's ch check this as well so i will go to my this sheet where i have used the traditional functions and formulas and i will just uh, this is my last column which is all the dates have been corrected so i will copy this and i will come to here this sheet where we have a power query output i will say paste as values uh this is from the data sheet okay and let me correct that format as well so you so now we can compare this uh, we will check this uh so logically how we going to check this that all the dates uh, are correct when we have used power query as compared to the traditional excel formulas and functions so as you know the dates are on the back end are numbers so if i subtract uh, my power query date format with the excel traditional date format it should be zero okay so let me correct the format as well so i will go to format cells window and make it a general 
So if the drop down menu of check column shows any other thing with respect to zero, this means that we have not done right in the Power Query, but that's not the case here. We have corrected the all the incorrect date formats into a one structured format uh, within just five seconds with the help of Power Query, you can see here, right? So that's how we make our life easier by learning the modern tools available in Microsoft Excel. So very few users know it. If the user does not know, he or she will go with these kind of a traditional way out uh, for correct corrections, right? Uh, but the advantage of Power Query was that we have a very much variety of different incorrect and correct date formats when we consolidate the data. But when we use the Power Query, uh, it gets structured in one similar way, right? We can go more complex with that as well. And in the coming future videos, I will show you more complex examples. But uh, truly in this video, you have just imagined that whatever we were doing in 30 minutes, it's a matter of just less than five seconds with the power query. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.